this is Josie. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys, so welcome once again back here to my channel. I miss you guys. It seems like forever since I made a video for you guys. But here we are in this beautiful, beautiful day in Southern California. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Josie. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell, guys, so you guys know when I upload another amazing video. So let's get started. Um, today's video, we are going to make a baby elephant centerpiece. And it's gonna be a little bit different than what I usually make. Um, we are still gonna use the boxes and everything I use today I will link in the description guys so you guys hit there and um, Purchase everything so you can make these centerpieces, but we still need the box. We still need Styrofoam I bought different types of Purplish kind of flowers. I have my image that I already printed and I cut out I don't know what you guys call these. I think these are called balloon sticks but we're gonna try these out, guys. Um, I did this a while back with a centerpiece using um, diapers, and it was super cute. So I decided to do it this time around, and of course, um, a purple balloon. So I went ahead already, and I assembled, and I painted the color I used was this gray right here. And this one wasn't that bad. I only used one coat to do it. You guys know that I always, always love using my sponge brushes when I paint my brush, my, my boxes, only because the, um, the finishing looks so much better. You don't have streaks and it looks super, super nice. So we're gonna get started. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the styrofoam inside the box. And usually I always do like a little styrofoam to hold the dowel when I'm making my centerpieces. But because we're gonna use flowers for the bottom of the centerpiece, um, we're gonna use this one. And this one should just fit in like that. Okay guys, it's a simple fit in. And of course, <laughs> so it doesn't move. I'm gonna hot glue the bottom and then we're going to um, put on the box. So I'm gonna put hot glue at the bottom like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one of these. And this one you do want to press for a while guys since the box the styrofoam is bigger than the usual and then i'm going to put it to the side as it um it um goes to the as it sticks to the box and i'm going to go ahead and usually i just pull uh, the flowers from the stems because you know i don't need a stem but because i do need a stem this time i'm going to go ahead and cut cut all my flowers and what we need is that little stem like so because that is going to be put inside the box so I think I'm gonna do the dark purple and then baby um, lilac I guess is the color I'm gonna go ahead and cut them so after I go ahead and cut them out I think I have enough guys I think I'm gonna do a pattern at the bottom so like I said oh leave a stem at the bottom this one doesn't have one. I actually um, cut it off, but let's see if we can use it. Now, what I'm going to do, like always, guys, I'm going to measure. And I think this thing comes off, guys. So this comes off, but I'm leaving it on there because when I um, go put it on or assemble it, I need to know how far um, from the top my image needs to stay. And it looks like it's going to be about there. And I did leave, like, maybe half an inch at the top so the image is not going to go all the way to the top like i usually do with when i do um use a dowel and only like i said because i do want that extra piece to have room to so i'll look something like this guys see how there's that little um space right there so i'm going to go ahead and stab it all the way down you guys know that i always um, add glue at the bottom and the reason why we do this is because it's your um, 
uh, invites want to hold the centerpiece or admire how pretty the centerpiece is, usually they grab from the top. And if they grab from the top and it's not, you know, focus, <laughs> it's not um, put all the way down um, then or glued down, I see. So I think with this one, I'm going to use, because the straw or the stick is plastic, it's not going to go all the way down by itself. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead use one of my wood dowels so I can make the way or the path of my um, my balloon holder and guys this will be the first time I'm doing this live with you guys so usually as you guys know I do protocols before I go and actually do the actual video so I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing but I decided to go live so to say and um do it for you guys so that's how it looks oh i love it i love it okay so i'm going to yeah guys i'll never go to american idol um so i'm going to go ahead and add glue right there and make sure it stays and i am going to set it to the side so i'm going to put the elephant on the side because i want it to dry completely and i'm going to start I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and make my bow that I'm gonna put in the front. I love bow, guys. I don't know if you guys have gone to my Etsy page or my Etsy shop, but if you haven't, you know, the link is also down in the description. I love adding bows to anything girly because, or not girly, I just love bows. I, I, I find like it makes the centerpiece look even that much better. And I'm gonna go ahead and use lavender. The size is um, an inch and a half. And I'm just gonna make your typical bowl. Um, like so. Sorry guys. And I'm just gonna fix it. I always like bringing the edges with a lighter because you see that right there guys? We don't want that, that's not cute. So a uh, easy way to get rid of that is you get a lighter and I don't know if this one's gonna work guys. And then you're just going to burn the edges until they have completely vanished. Little one of that, and look at what a difference it makes. So now your bow looks pretty. And like I said, I'm gonna fix it up a little, make sure it's perfectly good. So when I put it now, I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side, and we're going to start putting in the flowers. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to just stab all the way in. like so you see how pretty that looks we're going to do is um continue that all the way around and if there is um if the top part is still showing i'm going to show you guys what we're going to do to fix that so i'm just going to go around and do the whole side of the box with the um the flowers So I don't know if you guys saw what I was doing there. The beginning, I did use the longer stem of the of the flowers, and I did, um, you know, stab the stab um, them into the um, the styrofoam. But in the back, you guys see that. So even though we we um, uh, were putting it on the top part of the styrofoam, it doesn't look bad. So I just went ahead and pulled it. I added a little bit of glue gun, uh, glue gun a little bit of uh, glue on the bottom and then I just went ahead and stabbed it using the small step and it seemed to look work perfectly guys and it also covered the whole top of the um of the green um styrofoam so now I'm gonna take my um my bow I did and I'm gonna add it to my see how pretty that looks it just makes a difference so I'm gonna add glue on the box and I'm going to go ahead and add the bow like so 
And the awesome thing about this, guys, is when you guys watch my videos, these are just suggestions of what you guys can do um, on your um, on your centerpiece. This is just, you know, hey, you know, you don't want the bow, you want to add something else in the front, that, you know, make it yours, make it become, you know, it becomes your centerpiece, your idea. But I am just giving you, you know, like a template of what to do. See, guys, look at how cute that looks so far. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to get my um, my balloon, and it is purple, lavender. I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna blow it up, and then I'm gonna add it to the bottom, to the top. Ah, guys, it has um, it has frozen on the on the front. Well, I did get these from the Dollar Tree, guys, so we're gonna pretend that Frozen is not on this balloon. And we are just gonna put it like so. <laughs> so what you do is you get the bottom part, and then there's going to be little, like, sleeves, little, um, and then you just weave it in, like so. And, we're going to pretend, sorry guys, we're going to pretend that um, Frozen is not in the front. And I'll fix that right now, guys. But this is it, guys. This is how it looks. How gorgeous is the centerpiece? I know I say that about all my centerpieces, but this is it, guys. It's so cute. It's so neat. Something different. Usually, like I said, I do just the dowels and the boxes. But today we use flowers. The, the cutest elephant um, cutout and my awesome balloon that we will stitch out when I take the picture, guys. So like I mentioned, this um, becomes your centerpiece. Whatever you guys want to do now, if you guys want to add um, rhinestones, if you guys want to add the baby's name, um, anything you guys want to do, it becomes yours from this point on. Hope you guys enjoy. Before I leave, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I'm going to leave the link down below for my new podcast. I'm so excited, guys. And I have a big, big giveaway coming up next Monday, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We are over 3,000 subscribers. It's a number that never in my wildest dreams would have thought it would happen. So. Excuse me. So I want to say thank you guys for that. So like I said, I'll let you guys know how this look without the frozen. Make it yours. Hope you guys enjoy. Till next time. Bye.